Hi, we're looking for Kelly. Yeah, come on in. She's just in her office with Brittany. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kelly and Brittany. Hi, Bradley. Bradley. Kelly, how are you? Not too bad. How are you doing? I'm great. I heard you just got engaged. Congrats. Thank you so much. Are you ready to enjoy a maybe's birdside pale ale? Yes, it's fantastic. Now, you've grown Kelly Buffett Law so quickly in a few short years. What's something a potential client should know about you? Here at, at my office, we charge flat fees, um, and our flat fees include all of our soft costs, so there's no additional hidden fees that uh, you know people see at the, at the end. And what brought you to real estate law? I practiced litigation for 10 years previously, and um, you know it's the kind of practice that people hope that you know you do a great job and never see your face again. So with real estate, it's a lot more uh, friendly and happy, and people are looking forward to uh, spending time with you. And what point during the buying and selling process should someone get in touch with their lawyer? I would say after you have uh, an accepted offer on a property. And how much could someone expect to pay in fees when buying or selling? We charge $750 plus tax on a purchase and $500 plus tax on a sale. Now, title insurance is something frequently asked about in real estate. Can you describe what it means in one sentence? Basically, it's an alternative to a survey. Uh, a bank's going to require one or the other, and title insurance provides you with uh, better coverage for a much cheaper price. Can you outline what happens on closing day? Should a buyer take the day off? I would say no, uh, don't take the day off. Uh, there's still a lot of things that need to happen between me and the other lawyer. We'll uh, wait for a pre-closing inspection to be done, funds to come through, and then me and the other lawyer will have to actually meet and do some exchanges. What's the number one issue you see on pre-closing inspection? It's almost always to deal with cleanliness. Uh, people have their own standards of what clean means, and uh, usually you hope everyone's on the same page. <laughs> In our field, you have a great reputation for real estate legal services. What other types of law do you practice? Our main practice is real estate, uh, but we do offer wills and estate services as well as uh, some small business uh, incorporations, things like that. Um, but uh, usually if there's some other kind of contract that goes hand in hand, like a separation agreement or cohabitation agreement that goes along with their uh, purchase or sale, we'll offer those services as well. And finally, if you could give one piece of advice to anyone buying or selling real estate to keep them out of court, what would it be? Definitely that uh, remember that you're signing a contract. So even though your lawyer's not walking you through that part, remember that you're going to be held to what you say. Well, thank you, Kelly. Cheers. Thanks, Bradley. Tune in next week for another Points with the Pros with the Cyroid Group of Gardner Realty, Royal LePage.